Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, this is a gym del edu. Uh, in this video, this is what I'm going to create with you. This is what I'm going to build with you guys. Learn how to create your, how to build your uh, your blog. Now, I have this uh, layout. This is what we are going to do. And we, we are going to build this layout. This is the, okay, this is the blog name or blog title. Here on this card, I call it, where you call it title, uh, this is where you pass your title heading. And you put the title, this is where you pass the title description. You pass the date here inside of this blog. Okay, this is the first part. This is the header, blog name. This is the first one, uh, this is the second, uh, I call it card, you can call it card. Or you can call it, uh, uh, this is our first uh, main content. This way you pass a title heading, title description date. Also you, you pass your image inside of it. And at the bottom you pass your text. And this is the first card, or the first, uh, this, you can see the first main content. You do the same thing, you see same thing you, got, you have here, this is the same thing you have at the bottom, the second one as well. And here we have the footer. The footer is the same length as the header. You see, from here, started from here to here. The same for the footer, same size, same length. Okay, here, I can, I'm going to call, okay, we call this side um, left colon. Here's left colon, here. Here, all this part is left colon, started from here. Started from here, all this is in left colon. This side here, some people probably call it sidebar. I call, I prefer to call it a right column. This is a right column. You got here on one. This is pretty much. Uh, uh, this looks like the, as a rectangle, and this one as a uh, as a square. We have about me, and then you pass your image here, and you got some text, and here at the bottom, here. You, uh, this is where you have a, a popular post or you, you can call it category and then you pass your image also this is where you pass your social media and so on you pass some text uh, underneath of it okay this is what to build your uh, to create your blog you should get an, a, a good idea you should get a good foundation once you get uh, this idea you understand how you set up your your layout how you create your layout to create your blog and then you will you will you will you will, okay you're ready to go and, and as you can see this is a, a responsive as well when you create your blog it's the same thing you can use it on the phone okay and uh, without further ado let's get started also before let me show you this I create this and I pass color and then now you will get uh, an idea this is a I call it okay this is the title I call it a blog layout and this is where you pass your blog name and here this, this the first card you pass the title he heading title description and then you pass, you pass the date and you pass the, your image inside of it and the same thing for, for second this is the second card and this is the third card and you have your footer here and on this side you have you, you call it right column this is a left column all these we call it left column left column right here the first card the second and the third all these side are left column and right column is uh, right here this side about me popular post image image okay this is what we are going to create uh, i'm going to use uh, html and css okay and the CSS, uh, when, when we pass the CSS, let me show you. When we pass the CSS for uh, right column, it's going to be different than uh, uh, left column. Okay. Uh, let's get started. I don't need this anymore. And uh, I call my folder uh, website or blog layout. This is it. Okay, nothing yet. Uh, let's go back. Okay, open your code editor. And I call my main folder nothing inside of it you can see i click on it nothing inside of it yet i call my main folder website or blog layout uh, the first thing i want you to do i want you to create okay let me go back one second and show you something oh okay i don't have it 
Alright, let me go here. Right, let me try to explain it to you before I get started. Let me show you. Here is the blog. The blog starts from here, from the header, and blog name, and to the footer. You, you need a div that cover, you need a div that cover everything for you. And that div, I will call it wall. That div wall will cover everything. Inside of this wall, this is where you will find a blog name, a blog, ti blog uh, title heading, title description, date, images, and so on. And also, and after that, inside of this div called wall, we will create a div for left colon, only for the first card, the second and the third. And then after that, we will create a, a second div. Uh, we will call it a, a div class, a second div class called right colon. We will call it uh, about me popular post and where we will pass our image. Also, we need another one. At the bottom, we need another one. We will call it a footer. We will pass our folder. This is how you create your blog. You you create one div class wall that cover everything, and then inside of it, you create for um, left colon and for right colon, and then after and then you create for the folder separate. Okay, let's get started. Now, go to your main folder. I want you um, make a right click, make a right click, and click on new file. And let's call it index.html. Like this. Okay. Call it index. Let me increase this. Index.html. And put HTML. Click on tab. You have this. Okay. Uh, for the meta, I'm going to say I'm going to say meta uh, name of viewport. Uh, for content, content width equal device width, and put a comma space initial scale equal one. Okay. And for the this header, okay here for the title, I'm going to call it blog layout okay now this part is done now inside of the body now let's go inside of the body uh, we need only two files index.html and style.css that's all we need okay and now i'm going to create a link I'm going to link uh, the index.html to style.css. That's why I said link. And you click on tab. And here, uh, href, I'm going to say style. Oops, no, no. Go to edit, undo. Style.css. As we have style.css, I'm going to copy style.css and go to my main folder. Go to my main folder, right click, and I'm going to paste it and, says, and click on enter. Now I have style.css. Let's go back to index.html. Okay, now inside of the body, inside of the body, remember what I, the first thing I need, I need the header. Okay, let me refer to this. The first thing we need, we need, we need uh, where we're going to pass our blog name. We need a header. I'm going to create a class called header for that. Okay. Now I'm going to say div class called header, and inside of this class called header, and I'm going to create the title. I'm going to create the head, uh, the title of h2. I call it h2. I call it h2. This is where I'm going to say blog name. This is where you pass my your blog name. Okay. Now, let me show you something. Um, go to file, saver, and go to our browser. And now, if you refresh it, 
now we have blog name the first thing the first hour this is our first output and let's go back to our code now the second thing i need now after that this is where i'm going to create the wall that will cover let me show you now i'm done with header part now i'm going to create a div class called wall that will cover everything from here to here to the to the footer from title heading to the footer okay now i skip one line just to show you and this is where i'm going to say div i call it wall like this i call it wall and go inside of this div let me uh, put um, the first thing i'm going to create let me put it like this i'm going to create a left left column yes i'm going to create left column and i'm create i'm going to create another div for that okay to create left column this is the div i just created and remember this div this div this is the word div class called war and i'm going to put uh, okay this is the end end of class uh equal row okay i mark we can miss it now this is the div we just created and div class i call it left left column like this and this left column let me go back here this left column i will add the first card title heading title description and date and i'm going to add the, my second card or third card and so on how many as many as you want okay inside of left left column okay and for right column let me go back this is left column okay this is left column and let me show you something to make it easier for you guys this is the left column and also this is the D, this is the D if class what that will uh, that all of our code should be inside of it let me uh, bring this down a little bit now this is the okay left column now let me create my right column okay I write it down for you okay I'm going to separate everything. This is left column. This is this div, or this is right column. Uh, for right column, you and you create a div. Do the same thing. And this div class, I'm creating the div. Div class called right column, like this. Okay. Let me separate this. Now we have left colon. This is the div right here, and we have right colon. This is right here. So if I go here, all of these, this is our left colon. All of these is our right colon. Okay. Inside now, let's go inside of it. Div class equal left colon. Now this is where I'm going to pass the title title heading. Let me show you. This is the title heading, also for the title description, and the date, and this is where you should pass your image inside of it. And I'm going to create another div inside of the div class left colon. And this class, I'm going to call it main content. Okay, inside of the, inside of the main content, I'm going to create my uh, title and this is the title I'm going to create right here. Title heading, the first one. To do this, I'm going to say H2. I'm going to call it title heading, like this. Okay? All right. This is a left colon. And this is a main, main content, title heading. Now, 
I need after title heading, I need title description and in depth. To do this, to add this, I go after this block of code. Okay, I go after that. No, say inside of it because uh, this is the main content. These are the main content, main content, all of this. Okay, yes. Go inside of this um, div class main content. Go after H2. I'm going to create H5. I'm going to create H5. This is where I'm going to pass my my title description. Title description, comma, and you can put the date. Uh, 24th, like this, 2021. Okay. Now, if let let's start for a moment. If we go to if we go to file, save all, and we go back to our browser and refresh the page. Now we can see this is the blog name, of title heading, title description, the, the same thing as this one. Okay. Now let's go back to our code. After that, we need an image. Remember I showed you, we, we need image. Now, to add your image, I'm going to create a div as a div class called image, ing. And I'm going to pass the style after here. I'm going to say style. Oh, no, 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 no. Like this. Let me go edit. Undo, okay. Style equal, double quote. And I'm going to pass a height. I need a height of um, not too high. We need let's keep it simple. I need a height of 200 pixel. 200 pixel or 150. We can put it like this. I need a height of one, 150 pixel. And it is the closing div. Let me keep it. Put it in one line. Oh, the closing. Yes. Okay. This is the block of code I'm working on right now. Here, div class image style height one uh, 150 pixel. Now here, this is where we call it image. If you go to file, here, save all, go to our browser, refresh it. Now we have image. Pretty much the same thing. Let me show you here. We have title head uh, blog name, title heading, title description date. Also, we have image. Okay, now let's go back to our code. Now we need the text, pass some text after the image, and go after the div class image. And put to, uh, how you pass your text, you, you call it P as a paragraph. And you can put here, okay. This is where we put some text like this, okay. Now I'm going to use a second P, second paragraph, and we can go here to this website and we have some, okay. Uh, take some text here, okay. That's fine. And let's go back to our browser and to our code and paste it here okay and if you go to file go to file save all and go back to our browser refresh it okay here is our text let's go back okay to our code now we done this main left colon this is left colon and then this is the main content this is our first this is our first here our first card this part is done. I'm going to add a second one. As you can see, this is the same thing. Title heading, title description date, image. I'm going to do something simple. I'm going to copy this main content because this is the same class. I'm going to copy this block of code. Okay. And, or I can do something here. I can call it title heading two. And I'm going to paste it here for you. Okay, this is the title uh, heading one. And also, this is the title heading two. This is the same thing. Just go to file, save all, 
and go to our browser, refresh it. This is the first part, this is the second part. And when we add our CSS, you will see it normal. Okay, let's go back to our code. Now this is we done. For left, left colon, let, let, let me bring this up because this is the closing div, closing div for left colon. I'm going to bring this up, okay? This is a closing div for left colon right here. Let me make, make this smaller so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Now, I'm done with left colon. This is div, left colon right here. This is the, oops, let me show you. Here's the block of code for left, left colon. Start from here and finish here, left colon. Okay. Now, here is right colon. This is right colon and this is the div, class right colon. And inside, go inside of it. Now, we are going to do the um, y colon. This is, let me show you y colon. This is y colon. Left colon. All this, left. And then all this, right. Okay. Let's go back to our code. Inside of the y colon, we are going to do the same thing. We are going to create a, um, two, uh, two divs and with two different uh, two classes. The first, this is the first div class called y colon, go inside of it, create another div class called, okay? Do the same thing, call it main content. I call it main content. And I, I'm going to pass the title, let me show you here, uh, about me. This is, and you pass, you pass some text underneath of it. Okay, and I'm for to pass my title, I'm going to say H2, and I call it about me. And if you go to file, uh, go to file, save all, and go back to our browser, refresh it. It is about me. When we pass our CSS, we will move it to the side. Okay, now after that, after our uh, H2. Div content because we are going to pass everything inside of this div content. Now go after our about me h2. Now let's pass. Uh, I'm going to pass our image. Let's let pass our image. Uh, remember we're working with um, a white colon. Let's pass our image here about me. For this, I'm going to create a div div class called image like this. And pass, I'm going to pass a style equal double quote. I need the height of 100, 100 height like this, uh, 100 pixel. Okay, let let bring this. This is one line of code. Let me bring this up. Okay, this is one line of code right here. Also, the I need a style height of 100 pixel. Also here from the middle, I'm going to put image. Okay. Next thing, I'm going to create a uh, paragraph P. Okay. And we can copy this here and we paste it here. Keep it simple. If you if you go to a uh, file, save all, go back to our browser, refresh the page. Now we have it. Image and is the text. Okay. Next thing is the div. Okay. But this block of code is done right here. Now go after this closing div. This is let me do something, put something for you. Now, this is where I'm going to create the popular post. Let me show you. We, we're done with about me and pass some text on the inside of it. Now, I'm going to create popular post and pass image inside of it. Okay, to do this, I'm going to say uh, popular post just to show you. Okay, remember we're working with div white colon, this opening div in the closing. Okay, now. The first thing I need for popular post, as you see here, we need a, uh, the header, popular post. 
to do this I'm going to create H3 I call it um, I popular popular post like this okay I call it popular post okay well, we forget to do something Co uh, cut this line of code because we forget to add the div if you don't add the div class called main content because this is this how we're going to you create your blog you create a div class main content and you pass everything inside of it also for uh, for popular post this is for about me for popular post we need another div we, we need div class called main content like this and inside of this main content this is where i'm going to pass h3 mm -hmm, called popular popular post like this and go after h3 now this is where i'm going to pass uh my three images one two three okay and to as my my three images i create three different div, three divs the first div okay i'm going to um, keep it it is one line of code okay it's one line of code div class called image like this and here I'm going to pass image. I can copy this line and go to the next line, paste it. This is, I, I can call it image one. I'm going to say image two and go to the next line and paste it again. I'm going to call it image three. Okay, now I can say this popular post, this block of code is done. Let's go to file, save all and go back to our browser and refresh the page okay now we can see popular post image one two three okay let's go back to our code now what next what next uh what next we're missing something i forgot to add something uh this is uh, for uh, uh so so social media i forgot to add social media okay i'm going to add social media underneath here we can add our social media okay and to add social media social media for the social media i'm going to say social media okay social media like this and to add your social media you need to create another div like this for social media okay and div class called same thing the same class as you can see all of my all of my inside of the right column all of my class i put the same name main content main content main content okay i call it main main content now for social media i need header h3 and i call it social media you can just leave it like this and go to file save all let me show you something and go here to refresh it you got social media okay now uh, okay let, let's pass some text underneath text for paragraph p and press press tab and we can copy here uh, a little bit copy here and paste it here okay and go to file, save all, go back to our browser, and refresh it. Okay, is our text. Now let's go back to our code. The first, now we're done. Social media is done. This is the, the block of code for social media. The block, this is the block of code for um, popular post. Now, here, this closing div is for white column. We can miss it okay this is uh, the end we're done I can do this and bring this up I can call it this is the closing for white column okay now okay this this is the closing 
for wall on top. Okay. Now, bring this up. Remember, the footer, we will create the footer inside of the body, not, not inside of the um, not inside of the class wall. Let me show you. When we first started, we create the class wall. But we should create the same for the remember the relationship between with our header and footer is the header as you can see same length with the footer you they have relationship pretty much same this the same way you build your header it is pretty much the same way you build your footer okay remember that now let's go back to our code now is the closing uh this is a closing d for class four this is a closing for white footer okay white right, right colon now you you create your footer inside of the body is the closing body you create your footer before that before the closing body and to create your footer you need to create a div we need a div we need we need a div we create a div class called uh, footer keep it simple footer we create a div class called footer and for the footer just called footer we create h2 and we put footer like this that's simple you see one block of code and it's done go to our file go to uh, click on save all and go here refresh it is our footer okay now we have everything here as you can see it's not look okay it's not look good now let's pass let i'm going to pass the css now we'll see now I think we're done with this part. Okay, let me bring this up just a little bit. Okay, now open your class call. Uh, open your go to your uh, main folder. Open your file called CSS. Here is our CSS. Remember, this is how you link your CSS with your in index at uh, HTML. Here is the link. This is how you link it. You say link well a style sheet href style.css the style.css is style.css everything inside of the style.css will put um will fix everything inside of the index at html which we have here on this page they're not in order and then the css will put everything in order let's get started okay inside of the css uh the first thing I'm going to say this now I'm going to create the the box sizing for the to keep everything I'm going to keep everything inside of the box you cannot just leave let me show you go here I cannot just leave everything like this but I'm going to create a box a box a box the same way when you when you buy something online and they put everything inside of the box they cannot just put each each piece different on, on a separate thing you know but that's why you put they, they, they put everything inside of the box okay and then the same thing i'm going to do i'm going to say box sizing by the box okay and then i'm done right here go next next i'm going now i'm working with the body okay now we, i'm working with the body the first thing you take take the body okay i say body the first thing I need, I need the font family. The way I want my uh, my my blog to look at how the the letter should write. Okay, the font. Okay, I want the font family. I'm going to keep it simple area. If you go to file, save all, and go here, refresh the page. You can see the font now fixed. Pretty much looks better. Okay, and go back. The first thing, now this is where I'm going to fix. I'm going to put, um, take everything here and center because uh, everything is on, on one side to the left. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spread. I'm, I'm going to spread everything inside of this page. Okay, to do this, I'm going to say padding. I need a padding of 50 pixels and save it go here refresh the page okay as you can see i move it a little bit now okay let's go back to our code 
The next thing I need, I need a background. This is my background color, keep it simple, F1, F1, F1. We can pass color if we want. Okay. Um, F1, uh, F1, F1, F1. Uh, it should also be three. F1, F1, F1. Okay. And go here. Refresh the page. Okay. Now we can see the background has changed. Okay. Or I can put something like this. I probably say um, light, light blue. It will take it. Okay. I can keep it like this. That's not bad. Or uh, light blue. Or let me see if I put it beige. I think you will. Okay. This one probably much better. Okay. Now, next, I want my position to be absolute. Just keep it in place when I'm done. My position absolute. Okay, for the body. Keep it in place. Now, the now next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to work with with, with the header. Header, which is the block title. Let me show you the block title. I'm going to work with the header right here. I'm going to copy header, go inside of the standard CSS. But because it is a class, let me show you. It is a class, div class called header. Every time you uh, work, working with the CSS, when you have a class, you put a dot and you plus the, the class. That header, like this. And I need a padding of 30 pixel for the header. And if you go here and click refresh the page, now I separate the header from the uh, from here from my first card. Okay. Now uh, let's go. I let me pref I prefer the F1 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 and put the pound sign you can put any any color you want guys well i prefer this one keep it simple okay now after padding 30 pixel i need the font i need my font size of 40 pixel like this and next i want my text to be aligned i don't want to leave like this leave my text like this okay i want to put them I want to say text align center. Like, and if you go to file, save all, go back here, refresh it. Refresh it now. This bigger. And, okay, let's go. Okay. Now, next, no, after text align, I need the background. I need the background, my background color to be white. Keep it simple, white. And if you save everything, let's go back here. And now you have an idea. Is my background white? Okay. Now, this, I'm done with header. Okay, now, next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create two unequal columns that float next to each other. Okay. Let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to create two, um, two unequal columns that will uh, float to each other. This is pretty much like this. Like this. That will float with each other. Like this. Float to each other. Okay. Um, let's go to do this. Okay. Um, now, what I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm now I'm going to work with the left left colon okay working with left colon and i have left colon as a as a class i copy this go back to style css as a class i'm going to say that and paste it left colon i know left colon i'm going to say float remember that float left 
Okay, left colon, I okay, go to far, save, oops, not save as, <clears throat> go to far, save up, and go here, click on refresh, okay? All right, let's go. Next, I want a width, I want a width of 75%. Yeah, and we, sh we need we need to do the calcul the calculation we need to do the calculation now for left column let me show here for left column for this part okay I, I, I said the width should be 75 percent now out of listen listen guys out of 100 percent left column takes 75 percent now you do the math you will see uh how many left okay what is the what is the percentage left for white white column okay out of 100 we have 75 for this part and then okay do the math now um go to file save all and refresh it now we have an idea about me popular post social media folder we will fix that okay now next we need i need now i'm going to write with white column white column okay and for white column i'm going to say that and take white column go here okay copy Let's go to back to style and paste it Okay, now we have white column. Working with white column. Inside of the white column, the first thing, remember that? I'm going to say float. Float left. Do, do you know why I said float left? Let me show you. I said float left. I'm, I'm not going to refresh the page yet. I say float. When you say float left, and that will create the opposite because they're going to be unequal on equal side you're gonna force uh, the white colon to go to the right remember they were on one colon now let me refresh it okay and then you now got footer we got header and we'll move footer at the bottom and then fix everything now um okay next after float left let go to the next line we need a width remember for left colon, left colon takes 75%. Now the rest, white colon should be 25% out of 100. If you add these two number, you will get 100%. And go to the next line. We need a padding left to move, okay, everything of uh, 20 pixels. Go to file, save all, and go, go back here, refresh the page. Now you have an idea, I guess. You have an idea now, okay? We put, we push this on the side and we keep left, left, left colon here. Okay, now next thing, this is a, this is a white colon is done. Next thing I'm going to work with, I'm going to take the image at this time. We have E class image. I'm going to take image, copy image and go back to style because image is a class, it's not an ID. We put it that and paste image. Okay, inside of the image, we need a, uh, we need a background, we need a background color. And is my color for image, A, 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 like this. And if you go and we save it, go back and refresh it. For image, you can see I pass, this is the color I pass for image. And okay. Now, let's go back. And after does that, we need a width for image. I need a width of 100% for image. I'm going to keep it 100% and save it. Let's go back. And if you refresh the page and then the image be 100%. Okay. Now, after the width, now I need a padding. I need a padding of 20 pixels. And save everything. Go back here. 
and we first tape it. Now the padding, I separate the space because if I move the, I remove this. Let me call it and save the program and refresh it. You can see everything is one side and this too close, this too close to each other. Now and I I put a padding, not padding top, not padding right, just padding that will, um, oops, I double and save everything go back to fresh it that separate one from each other okay okay now we have an idea okay now after the padding i need the margin i need the margin top i'm going to pass the same value margin top of 20 pixels and now if you refresh it okay now the margin top separate let me show you if I cut this out and save the program and go back here and refresh the page, see now we have three images inside of the one block of code. No, this is, it is the three, we have three different images here, and th that's why I put a, a margin top of 20 pixels. And when you refresh it, that separate each completely. Okay, now we have an idea. Next, uh, next, working with the image, we're done next next i'm going to work with the main content our main class called main content our class called main content this is where everything sit inside of it um go back as a class remember put it that put paste it and for main content i need the uh, i need the background for main content i need my background color white that will show you everything Okay, now you see everything. Refresh the page. Now you see the heading, the title he heading, and so on the text you can see. Okay. Okay, now go to the next line. I need the padding that's separate. I need the padding of 20 pixels, same value. And then after after the padding, uh, padding 20 pixels, I need the I need the margin top of 20 pixels as well and go to file saver uh, go back here and refresh the page okay when we refresh it now you feel you, you pretty much you got a blog now you can see you really have a blog okay okay now let's go back here we're not done yet and now what I'm going to work with right now I'm going to work with the wall. The wall will create a class for wall. Okay. But what I'm going to, to do, I'm going to uh, do the wall after. After. After we got the content. And then we have, have, have to de display the table and clear both sides. Clear. Uh, clear both sides. Um, to do that, go back to CSS. Uh, Style.css. I'm going to, as a class for wall. Uh, um, I paste it. Also, I put a col um, colon, and then I say after, like this. And then after, after, I'm going to say content. Okay, and double quote, leave it blank, and go to the next line. I'm going to say display. My I'm going to display my display table. Okay. Also, I want to clear uh, the both side. I'm going to say clear both, like this. Okay, and go to file, save all, and go here, refresh the page. I clear, I clear this side, I clear, I clear, everything clear. Now everything is in, okay, okay, I send out everything. Okay, now, um, what I want to do, I'm going to work with the footer. I'm going to say footer as a class, and that footer, okay. And for footer, this is what I'm going to say. For footer, I'm going to say I need the uh, padding 20 pixels. And I, I want the text text align should be center. Also, I want a background for center. Um, for or footer is my background DDD like this. And also, I need the margin, uh, a margin top of 20 pixels. If you go and save, go to file, save all, 
and go back here and refresh the page is our folder is the color is our header okay and is our folder header and folder okay and uh, is our left is a left left um, left column is our right column okay okay now i'm going to make it responsive i'm going to make it responsive oh come on i'm going to make it responsive to do that this is how i'm going to say um respond uh responsive layout okay now i'm going to say um at media screen okay and like this i need a maximum width colon space of 800 pixels like this and inside of this this line of code will make this screen responsive and also the first thing i need i need the left colon but because we have left and right colon the first one left colon i put the comma and i add white colon at the same time and white colon and then now i can do this again and i need a width give a full width width of 100 percent and i need the padding on side the padding of zero like this and go to file um server and go back to our browser refresh the page okay now you have an idea it is responsive okay responsive um and this is uh this is how you create your uh, this is how you create this is how you create your your um this is how you create your your blog your layout for your blog let me see if i change this value let me see if i change this on the side of the body put it 20 and save everything i'm checking on something okay that's okay that's fine uh, let me clear bars in the table and clear okay 24. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. This is uh, uh, this is it. Uh, this is everything. Okay. This is our uh, stop. I stop here. This is it. This is how you create your layout for your um, layout for your blog. This is how you create it. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share this video, don't forget to, uh, to share my channel. And thank you, thank you once again. And see you in the next one. Thank you, bye bye.